Every year around Easter time, strange things happen in the bush near Armadale in New South Wales. There are strange sightings this time of year. In the middle of nowhere, where you might hear some cheering. If you do so, the Boiler Rock Festivus is maybe just around the corner. It is a non-profit festival from climbers for climbers, based on the family spirit of the climbing and bouldering community. It started about seven years ago when Todd, a local climber, discovered the huge potential of this area for rock climbing and mostly bouldering. And if there are climbers, a slack line is not too far away for some aerial exercise. What is bouldering? Simply climbing without a rope, solving little problems and having fun with your friends. Like this knee bar problem in the swamp area, which is rated V3. <laughs> oh, I meant to say smear to be good. That's it. Well, I think I just smeared off the Come on. No. Come on. Bob. Come on. Pop for it. Come, Come on. Get it. Go. Get it. Get it. Get it. Got nothing. Come on. Yeah, you got it. Get it inside. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on, mate. Come yeah. <laughs> on. Like Come on. Cookie. Come on. Straight up. Of course. Uh, Don't off. Where's that? Don't off. Nice. Come on. Just don't worry about it. Come on. Get it. Good. Good. Go. 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 You got it. You're up. It's solid, it's solid, it's solid. You can do it, come on. Bump it over, bump like, it over. Do, do it. Todd invited more friends over the years and it doubled from there on. Now there are sponsors around as well and they organise events and provide prizes and giveaways over the whole long weekend. So everybody's got the raffle ticket, right? Yeah. And you've seen me shaking this thing? I don't know how to make it more random, but I don't want to hear it when a black one comes out, okay? <laughs> Yeah. Black? 53. So courtesy of uh, Simon Carter and on-site photography, you've won World Climbing Rock Odyssey. Sweet. Nice. The average day possibly starts with a little bit of yoga up in the sheep shearing shed to stretch your muscles from camping and climbing. And then you head out to the paddock to boulder or climb with your friends, or the new friends you just made during the weekend. There is a huge potential for developing new routes and boulder problems. Just go for it and make something up. Is there a rating for this one? I don't think it hasn't been done. Oh. We scrubbed it up a bit. Oh yeah. 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 Works? Sort of. Every year there is an annual reward for the person who has written the most new problems on the bouldering map. The information can be found online at thecrag.com. Oh. Yeah, that's a little... <laughs> to get around the farm, it is handy to have a car with all-wheel drive, or at least a car with some clearance. Something like a Forester or X-Trail comes in handy, but it is not necessary. You can easily catch a ride or carpool with somebody. Especially when you go on a competition somewhere in the bush, like the Tendon Red Point Contest, a sport climb event on one of the 20 sport climbs. After a full day of climbing, you might want to hang around and go for a swim in the pond, or jump on a slack line and train your balance. This time there was an awesome 110 metre slack line to try out. Some dared to try it out, and some had brilliant new ideas on how else to use a slack line. Simply clip yourself in the middle with your climbing harness and ask your friends to pull you back and release. Yeah, try and hold on to Two, 
In the evenings, there are fun competitions like the Dino Comp. Alrighty, so a Dino Comp is a form of competition. Um, dino is short for dynamic, so dynamic versus static climbing. Static climbing is when you move really slowly. Dynamic is when you have a lot of power, it's really jumping fast. Yeah. Um, so, hands down on the two holes. Feet can go wherever you want, so you can adjust it for your body length. Yeah. If they fall off in the first time, they're, they're out of the competition. So there might be 40 people that start, and then that might get culled down to 20. And then we take the hold off, we move the hold up further, mm. and we do it all again. And we just keep on going and going further and further, up and to the right. Biggest jump wins. It's that cool. simple. It's pretty, it's pretty casual, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. There'll be a lot of screaming and cheering. And It's really just a fun event, but rules aren't as strict as they sound. <laughs> the girls' final height is the boys' starting height. But why dressing up as a banana will remain as a mystery. <laughs> You have to get two hands on it. You have to get two hands on it. Okay, I've said it three times. Steve! Steve! Due to the very close finale, they just make up new rules and the guy with the most chin ups wins. Finally, it was getting late. The next days are similar. Yoga in the morning and then climbing or bouldering mixed with a bit of slacklining. The farmland near Armadale is beautiful and in a really remote area. There is no phone reception or internet. It means you should be self-sufficient and have somebody with first aid skills. Just in case, you are responsible for yourself. I was also not like not putting it high enough in the beginning. Yeah. That's good, man. That looks good. Oh, yeah, uh, put it in. Put it in. Oh, that's it. it. That's oh. it. Put your knee in. There you go. To assure the cool vibe of the event and to keep it manageable without an army of volunteers, is strict capped at 300 participants. If you intend to join next time, please book your spot very early. The registration starts in February. At the end of the third day, everyone was getting excited about the amazing slackline competition. Everyone can show their balance skills and tricks. Easy rules, whoever gets the most applause wins. That kind of shows that it's not about having the best skills, it's about sympathy and fun.
You got one more go if you want. One more? <laughs> Just for shame. <laughs> Special ball trick. <laughs> <laughs> Get your balls out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. strip off at the slightly overstretched finale finally wins. It was getting late again. What a great weekend of climbing, fun events and great community spirit. For more information about Adventure TV or the Boiler Rock Festivus, find us on Facebook or contact us directly. Stay adventurous and see you out there. To stretch your bones from camping and climbing. Think about it. You stretch your muscles out. You do. <laughs> I'm not sure what's a common, common. I just didn't notice that. Do you reckon change to muscles? Whatever. Stretch your, like to limber up for the day. Switch off the tone. <laughs> cool video, but who's that fuck with? <laughs> <laughs> I said or an X trail, which is not correct. Or X trail. <laughs> that sounded very robotic. This is not. A sport climb event on one of the 20 sport climbs. I say, I'm saying climbs. <laughs> climbs. I'll, I'll take out the long, actually. No, because... It's long. 110 metre slack line. Because it's a line, you're not, it's obviously not going to be wide. Okay. But, I don't know. Does that sound alright? Yeah. Don't... Freaking slack line. <laughs> There's a fucking slack line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I got fucking pumped on it. I'll tell you. <laughs> I need a tongue exercise or something. <laughs> Josette was your girlfriend. <laughs> I was just thinking that. I'll just give her a call actually.